Hello everybody, this is Buck WSR Weezer coming at you today with another automotive repair project. I'd really like your opinion after you see what I'm doing here to know if you think this is going to work. You are looking at the front engine cover, the timing chain cover from my 1996 Ford Mustang, which has 3.6 liter, uh, this is 3.8 liter V6. And, uh, did a lot of work to remove the water pump and and this is the timing chain cover because I need to replace the gasket back here because I've had a significant oil leak well it was a lot of work getting this thing off and then I spent like two hours cleaning it trying to clean all the grease and dirt off and the because it was just like covered with oil and grime the thing's got over 300,000 miles I don't know that this has ever been taken off before I really don't know but uh, after spending about two hours cleaning this thing, I noticed it's got a crack right here. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this real well because this camera doesn't do close-ups real too well. But do you see that crack right there? It comes down the side here and then seems to go in two directions. A little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. I'll show you it from the other side. It's not quite as easy to see here but there it goes down right here and uh, consulted with a friend of mine I know you can I know you can uh, weld cast aluminum but he told me that a really good idea would just try to re repair it with some epoxy and he gave me some products that might work and that is what I'm going to attempt to do today I've got uh, I've got a product permit by by Permatex steel weld set time five minutes cure time one hour up to 900 psi strength dries metallic gray drinking water safe well it doesn't matter in our situation bonds to aluminum uh huh steel stainless steel iron copper bronze brass and other metals. So we are going to give this a try, and uh, once I cut off the piece and mix it, it gives us about two minutes to work with it, and I'm just going to try to push it into this crack, and, and I'm hoping that that's going to do it. Now, I've had, a, there's other options, you know, these, these engines Ford used in a, a variety of vehicles, not just the Mustang. They used it in the Windstar. Uh, I can't remember what else. I'm going to cut a piece of this off following the directions. Does it have a, a plastic cover coat on this? Yeah, I guess it does. All right, so I'm going to cut the piece. I don't have a lot of time once I mix it. All right, cut that. I'm going to stick that back on it put in the tube I don't know can you reuse this stuff once you've opened it I guess this plastic comes off never used this stuff before all right so that comes off and now I'm just gonna need it real quickly it says to knead it until it's a uniform color. You see you got the darker black, darker gray, and then the lighter. And that's what we're going to mix together. And I will really be curious to know what you think. I'm a little skeptical. On the other hand, I don't think it's a big pressure point. I just don't want it leaking. I mean, the oil leak was the reason I was doing this project to begin with. But you know, it is a lot of work to uh, get down to this thing, taking off the water pump, moving stuff out of the way. I don't want to go to all this trouble, just to have it continue to leak. All right, I think we got a uniform color here. So does my two minutes begin right now? Break it in half. And 
I'm gonna it's like playing with clay, you know? My other question is, will this come off inside the vehicle, inside the engine? I mean, I would certainly not want that to happen by any stretch of the imagination. That could be problematic. Now, this particular chiming chain, timing chain cover, they say once this stuff's hard, you can sand it, drill it. I don't want to put it in so that it's obstructing anything that's going on in there. And I don't think what I'm doing here will. Alright, so how does that look to you? I wet, I wet the tip of my glove with my fingers. Oops, that I could smooth it out just a little bit. All right, so let's try this side. Not getting a lot of time here, and I'm not moving as fast as I wish. This side here, it doesn't matter if I gop, you know, glob it on as thick. Cause this is just the outside of the cover. going to be much to look at but who's ever going to look at it I just need it to not leak I'm not really worrying about the crack getting worse maybe that's naive well it says it uh, what does it say about drying time it sets in five minutes fully cures in one hour well in that case my five minutes is going to be close to being up here and I should just stop messing right and leave it alone stop messing and leave it alone Okay, there you have it. How's that look to you? Not real impressive. It was such a hard time getting this thing off. One of the bolts on the studs had come through broke on me. I was doing some banging. I don't know if that's when it cracked, but it's certainly a possibility. The inside. Yeah. All right. Guess we'll wait an hour and see what happens. I'd love to hear what you think about this. If it was a good idea, or I'm wasting my time and going to regret it. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or a question if you have one. Bye.